What's going on YouTube? It's Team StarCraft here. Got a very special video for you today. I know I've uploaded some games and commentaries, but today I thought I would give you guys a build order video. This is my mech macro kind of Hellion Cyclone opener that I've been using in a lot of my team games lately. Now this isn't intended to be a 1v1 build order. I'm not even sure if it would work in a 1v1, but I mean you're welcome to try it if you want to. But I've been using this as my macro build order whenever I play my 2s or my 3s online. and. It's been yielding some pretty good results and it's a lot of fun, so I'll go ahead and show it with you today. So the premise of this opener, it's going to be like the first five and a half minutes of how your game should look and what your benchmark should be at the five and a half minute mark. From then on, you can kind of go into whatever you want to do, but this is usually how mine fold out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit start on this replay. I would play it, but I'm not the best at playing and talking at the same time. So anyway, it's like any game. You go ahead and start up, start building your SVs. The first SV, you do want to rally towards the ramp to build your first depot there. Once he gets there, you should have exactly enough minerals for a supply depot. So first SCV comes out, then continue rallying them back to the mineral patches. You want your SV over here, build your depot, get it down. And then here, nothing's fancy, just building SVs non-stop, chatting with your allies, do whatever it is you do, have a cup of coffee, drink a little bit of tea, but don't stop building SCVs, no matter what. Now, if you're not, uh, I guess, experienced at this game, and if you're like bronze, silver, one thing you can do to get better, just never stop building workers, never stop taking bases, as long as you've got that economy, you can do wonderful things. So, at this point... Just as the supply depot finishes, we throw down a barracks, and then we instantly throw down a refinery as soon as we get 70 minerals. So you should have your barracks and refinery building at the same time. Once this barracks is finished, the SCV that built the barracks, you want to rally it to your natural expansion towards the mineral patch area, so then you'll be getting a command center. And once this gas is finished, you instantly want to have three there as soon as possible, so you can build a reaper out of your barracks as soon as it's done. So right now we got our gas saturated barracks is almost finishing, still keeping up the SV production. Do not forget the SV production. So anyways, you can rally the Reaper rally point to wherever you want to go on the map, whether it's the watchtower or the enemy base. This Reaper is used just to scout. Don't try to harass with it because you don't want to fall behind on your macro, unless you're just very good at multitasking. And if you're not, just put the Reaper in the middle of the map so you can see if the enemy is coming to attack you or something, because that's completely okay too. But you want to just focus on the build order. So as soon as that barracks finished, that SV did go to build a command center. The Reaper started building instantly as well, and then you instantly get another SV for another supply depot to build at the front as soon as your command center started. With the first hundred minerals you want to get that depot. So you, now you have your orbital command, keep dropping mules as soon as you have the energy for you do get your reaper, get them out on the map. And at this point it's about the two minute mark. As soon as that depot is finished that's the same SV you want to build your factory. Once that factory goes on build another refinery at the exact same time. Very important that you make sure you get this done so you can have your timings hit perfectly and then you want to get a reactor with your next 50 gas and then at this point it's about two and a half minutes you can use your reaper to scout kind of see what the opponent's doing you're going to float a little bit of minerals at this point um, i usually build a supply depot here but there's some leeway so if you scout and you see these going for like a quick oracle or maybe some dts or uh, some kind of cheese from any of the other races. You can build an engineering bay here. I don't build one in this, but this build does factor in for an engineering bay to be built around this time. So you can get at least two missile turrets up, one at each base. So command center is finished. As soon as it finishes, get your next orbital command. And then you want to start rallying all the SCV production from both command centers to your natural expansion. Reactor finishes. we got some liftoff action going here. We do want the barracks is to swap off with the reactor as soon as the reactor's down get two hellions and then as soon as we hit to 200 gas mark which is going to be really soon we want to drop double factories and get a tech lab on this barracks so at this point we're building hellions we have two more factories on the way all our SVs are being rallied to our expansion and we're just dropping our mules non-stop keeping our money low keep the SV building and also at this point I'm gonna pause real quick we do start supply depot production, and at this point it's non-stop, so you keep building supply depots with this SV for like the rest of the game. And even when you get more production later, you could probably go to building two simultaneous depots, but at this point we're just concerned about one. So right here, we kind of got a lot going on. So, SCV, building depots non-stop, 
this base is saturated essentially a little one worker shy but not the biggest of deals because we have these two over here that'll go back to working everything is rallying to our new base we're dropping our mules as soon as we can as soon as we have the energy we're dropping mules helling production two by two all right let's resume so this barracks finishes its first tech lab now you want to lift off and build another tech lab with this barracks and it's going to result in a pretty nice timing as you'll see so we have two more hellions coming and another note at this point your hellion production might be a little delayed and you might not have as many hellions if you did build that engineering bay and get one to two missile turrets up earlier that it factors in so if you build the missile turrets if you need them you're not going to have as many hellions okay so just something to note but as we keep going, and as you can see, Barracks is adding on the tech lab. Reaper's out on the map, but that's not too big a deal. Non-stop SCVs from this, or depots from this SCV. And members just keep building, keep building. And this is another benchmark I actually missed on accident. As soon as this Barracks lifts off and lands, and you start building your second tech lab, this is the point where you want to build two refineries at your natural expansion. Okay? Sorry, I missed that. Anyways, uh, so keep going. These two factories should finish and pan out quite nicely because that tech lab finishes around the same time. Get that barracks out of there, put the SEUs back to work. Lift off both of these factories and you want to land them on the tech lab. So once this happens, you'll have this nice window where you're actually just getting... If I, I was a little bit behind on this one, but usually you just get to 300 gas. So it's right exactly enough to build two cyclones simultaneously. Still keeping up with the Alien production, still building IC, uh, supply depots non-stop. And once these cyclones have been production and you switched all these off, you want to make sure you saturate these gases down here. So remember, the barracks, second reactor, we got our double gas. As soon as these factories finished and we landed them, we saturated the gases and also built cyclones at the same time. So it's a little tricky, kind of a lot going on here. But nothing too difficult. I'm sure if you practice just a couple times, you get this build down pretty easy. So anyways, we do got the Cyclones building, 2x2, two two Hellions, build them once you have the minerals. Priority is the Supply Depots and the Cyclones at this point, and your SEVs. But when you have any extra minerals, you can use them for the Hellions. And we are getting close to our 5.5 minute benchmark. And you'll see what that looks like in a second. So right here, this part's pretty easy. Still building Depots, building Hellions, building Cyclones. Getting close to 5 minutes, getting a little bit of extra gas and money at this time. So what we're going to do is at about 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 seconds, you can actually pick. You can either get the Magfield Accelerator upgrade or the Blue Flame. It just depends, kind of see what you were up against. If you're up against a lot of speed links and stuff, you probably want Blue Flame. If you're against, against a lot of Protoss, you probably want the Magfield for the Armored. Throw down your third command center at this time as well. Depot still non-stop, still building SCVs non-stop. Getting extra hellions when we can priority is the cyclone so right here we have this window five and a half minutes we do have four cyclones and about eight hellions okay so just top pause here this is what it looks like five and a half minutes third command center is on the way we have two bases essentially fully saturated i think total worker count is anywhere from 44 to 46 depending on how good your macker was or if you got any supply blocks Optimal would be around 46 SEVs. Four Cyclones, eight Hellions. Some, I wasn't too good on my macro on this one. Sometimes I do end up with about 10 Hellions, which is phenomenal. But just keep in mind, if you did build the eBay at that two and a half minute mark and got a turret or two, you're going to have two to three less Hellions. But I mean, that's okay. You got to play it safe. So at this point, this is usually where I go out on the map. I start harassing. It's very good to keep Hellions and Cyclones out on the map, especially on the ones with Watchtowers, because these Cyclones do sick damage when they get their lock on. So you can use it even if the enemy's pushing at you. Cyclones are very good at slowing it. You want the Hellions in front to take the damage. Hellions protect Cyclones from their Cyclones' weakness. Cyclones are suck against Zealots or Zerglings. Hellions do counter that. Cyclones counter everything else. So you want to keep them in the middle now. If you're not too good at microing or paying attention to your army, I probably wouldn't recommend this build for you, but if you're at least, I think, gold or platinum league, you should be able to handle this army quite well. Essentially, you just kind of want to go and get your lock-ons and then run away and kill stuff with your cyclones, and this is very good for giving you map control. And then from here, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, I've gone from three factories into five factories and just 
stayed on ground mech for a little bit longer, added on siege tanks and widow mines. I have gone straight for double armory to get my upgrades going, but lately the main thing I usually do is once this third base is up and saturated, I do go into three starports and begin liberator production. I have two tech lab, one tech lab and two reactors on the starports. Uh, I still produce a little bit out of my factories. I usually switch to mainly just Hellions, and I do get a lot of Liberators, and it's been working out pretty well for me. Uh, but anyways, this is by no means 100% refined down to the T, but is very fun, five and a half minute kind of mac macro opener, because you have this little army you can harass, you can pressure, and you also keep up with your macro and take more bases. Well, let me know if you like this video, guys. If you want to see more of my build orders uh, that I've been using on the team game ladder lately, just let me know. I'd be happy to help out. All right, guys. Till next time.